really excited to be hosting this, Development Dynamics with Maxi. And to start us off today, we are really privileged to have one of my favorite persons in the development space. He is the global group CEO of Amref Health Africa, and he is an influence. He is a force of nature. He is. He has so many titles. If we capture them all at the beginning, I think we will we will miss an opportunity to visit them as we go by. Dr. Gidinji, so 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 happy to have you here. Thank you for honoring us uh, with this opportunity to just begin to know you and for us, for you to be one of our very first guests in this conversation. And um, because you and I know each other from, 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 from this field, yeah. I want to be very honest and say, uh, this will be a learning experience for me, but I also want to ensure that in this conversation, we are, I am learning as much, and we are also having an opportunity for others to equally learn. So I will ask many questions, but I'll also hopefully not approach this from a place where I am limiting what I know of you. So I want to, I just want to open it up and, and ask. Um, the very first time I heard about you, I had you mention um, about your mama. Mm -hmm. And say that uh, she got you and uh, did not have a space for you in hospital. Uh, let's start from your from that from that part. So welcome, and let's start from that very beginning about your mom. What are three words that can 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 can, can help describe your mom? And um, we we pick we pick it up from there. Wow, that is, um, uh, thanks Maxi for having me. And I think uh, my mom is an episode in herself. Yes. So when you tell me to define her in three words, mm -hmm. I would basically say that she is caring, resilient, and courageous. Mm -hmm. Those are the three words I would use for her. Mm -hmm. She had, has nine children. Mm -hmm. We are lucky enough to still have her alive. So nice. She is... 85 going to 86. Awesome. <laughs> uh, fully vaccinated, by the way. <laughs> and uh, she's still going strong. And she's still our North Star, really, uh, at the end of the day. The anchor in your family. She's the anchor in the family. Yes. yes. So that's, that's who she is. And I'm the eighth of You're her the... nine. Yeah, so I'm not like... I'm turning 51 in a few days. A few, uh -huh. And yet I'm number eight. So you can tell, you know, where I am and how many children she had brought up before she got me and brought me up. So... So as yeah. the eighth born, yes. she got you 51 years ago. Yes. Um, what was it like at the time? You know, you, you, you tell, us, tell us about the time she was getting you. First, exactly what you've said mm -hmm. now, if you were to do some quick math, mm -hmm. you can tell that she got me when she was 34. Correct. By 34, she was having her eighth child. So pretty young. Exactly. Yeah. That tells you that at that point, we were already a crowded house. Yeah. And uh, this was at a time when all these conversations in global health around, um, you know, population development and all these things were not, you know, were not too worried about population mm. growth. And women had as many children as they needed. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother, therefore, at 34, was having her eighth born. Eighth so you born. can, exactly. So you can see uh, that by the time I was being born, I have seven people ahead siblings of me. Siblings before you. Siblings before me. Yeah who are either at different levels of school, yeah. who are taking care of me, yeah. and also taking my food. Yeah. So <laughs> it was really, yeah. it was a survival for the fittest, it was, and the food was not, you know, it wasn't like in abundance. Yeah. Uh, my mother, my father lived in the city. Okay. As a tailor. All right. Um, I knew him as a tailor until when I was about 15, when mm -hmm. he moved now into uh, what you might call the, hospitality industry, uh -huh. but it was really a kiosk by the roadside. <laughs> <laughs> in Nairobi? <laughs> in Nairobi, okay. yeah, somewhere uh -huh. along uh, one of the streets in mm -hmm. Nairobi. Mm -hmm. um, and my mother was a subsistence farmer. Okay. So we all lived on this one acre piece of land, and that's where we were brought up. Which, which is what? 
in Othaya, in, in Othaya. Nyeri, okay. uh, mm -hmm. you know, in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we would grow potatoes, beans, maize on this small farm. Mm -hmm. We would actually be the labor for mm -hmm. that small farm. Mm -hmm. We had some coffee, actually, mm -hmm. which my mother still has up to now, mm -hmm. which I think also played a big role in our education, because at least there was once a year some little money that would pay fees from the farming uh, from the yeah from the coffee mm. um but the, the you know the farm itself was purely for subsistence mm. we never sold other than the coffee which was a cash crop mm -hmm. uh on half an acre mm. the rest of it was for feeding us mm. and there were many so we mm. provided the labor was there another child after you yes mm -hmm. after that seven years later she got my youngest sister, who is okay. now... So you're not the last born at all? I'm not the last born, mm -hmm. can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought I would. I was for seven years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was it was good life. Then, you know, my sister was born, and then I took care of her. We grew mm -hmm. up together. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's where we are. So we, And we are still all there, alive, oh, very as nice. one family. My mother is there. Mm -hmm. My father passed on, okay. uh, maybe, um, you know, in 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, so... We're still there. What's the gap between yourself and your elder sibling? Well, well, well. This is actually another very interesting story. Mm. We think it's two years. Okay. Your eldest sibling? No, the eldest sibling. The eldest sibling is 66. Oh, okay. So, oh, so you can do the math. Yeah, so it's about 15, 15 years, years, isn't yeah. it? Okay. The one who I follow, yeah. the gap is about two, two years. years yeah. But what's interesting is because birth registration was not actually as organized as it is now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, birth certificates were being given later mm. in retrospect. Mm. So you went when birth certificate uh, registration started mm -hmm. and he asked, so when do you think this, your child was born? You and we it. say, well, I think it was around there. So it depended on my mom's memory. Mm. So even as we know mm. what our birth certificates say, mm. you know, you're never really completely certain. So mm. we think we have gaps of two years, three years. Mm. But my first, our firstborn and our secondborn, mm -hmm. so our firstborn is uh, my brother, yeah. you know, it's male, and my our secondborn is a sister. Mm -hmm. The gap between them is actually quite wide. Mm -hmm. I think that's the widest gap, it's about maybe five years. And when you reflect back, it was because of the colonial war. Okay. Because when my brother was born, after that, my father was taken away mm. for uh, segregation. You know, there was all right. this because of the Mau War. Right. The men were picked up. They were taken away to... Mm. Some we went to... I hear my father went to Lamwe land. Mm. And they were kept there for long. Mm. And therefore, the gap between our first born and second born became quite, long. Because yeah. he was there for very long for yeah. that segregation yeah. because of the independence war. Mm. But after that, I think our gaps are, as you can tell, by that for having eight children, yeah. it's actually maybe two years, two years, two yeah. years, two years. Yeah. yeah. So to answer your question directly, mm. Mm. it is 15 years between okay. me and my oldest brother. Yeah. And yes. then for the rest, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not as much. Not as and much. And then the, 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 the only other one that's long is between yourself and your young. Your, and my young, yes, our okay. youngest sister. And that completes your family. That completes our family. Thank you.